Welcome to the HP Palm Top Tube channel. Today I'm going to show how to connect a serial or PS2 mouse to your HP 100 or 200 LX Palm Top. I'm going to go over the different types of mice that you can get and how to connect them to the Palm Top. And after I've shown all the hardware, we're going to have a look at the Cute Mouse mouse driver for DOS, how to install it, and how to fine tune it so your mouse works optimally. So let's start. The first option you have is to buy an old traditional serial mouse. These mice were the first mice that were supported by PCs back in the mid 80s. They connect with an RS232 DB9 serial port connector, normally to a PC serial port. And it's the old fashioned ball mouse type design, where you have a ball and little rollers that detect the motion. If you get a mouse like this, the best thing to do before you use it is to open it up and to make sure that all three of these little rollers inside are clean and clean them out so that your mouse's ball makes good contact with it and your mouse will be functioning properly. So this mouse is very easy to connect to the HP. What you will need is you will need the original HP serial cable that comes with the system or with the connectivity pack. Now this is not a serial port this is a cable that connects from the RS232 serial port on the palm top normally to a PC serial port. So this cable is already crossed. It's like a null modem cable. So we need to undo that and for that we need to use a gender changer and a null modem adapter. Now what I'm using here is a null modem adapter it's a male to female one. If I connect that to the HP's serial DB9 port on the HP serial cable, I now have a proper port to connect a serial mouse to. Now, it's best that you get a male to male null modem adapter. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those. I have a male to female, so I will need to use this, which is a male to male gender changer that allows me to connect the mouse to it. So if I connect that, I can just hook up the mouse like this. And there you go. All you have to do now is load the driver in MS-DOS and you'll be able to use this mouse. So the problem with these mice are that ball mice, they get dirty. They are very old. So they're usually pretty dirty and ugly and yellowed. Uh, so I definitely recommend using a better mouse than this mouse, which we're going to have a look at next. So the next mouse we're going to show is an early serial optical mouse. This one. Now, this is basically an optical mouse from the era when serial DB9 mouse were still in use. Back then, the sensors on these optical mice, they weren't as good as the ones we have now. They had a very low resolution. So they only worked on a special mouse pad with a special line pattern on it. You cannot use this mouse on any other surface. It needs that line pattern for it to work. It works a lot better than a ball mouse. It's slightly more accurate and it doesn't have the problems of becoming dirty because there is no ball. So if you can get hold of one of these, I would recommend getting one of these, unless you wanna go for the other options, which I'll show in a minute. I actually do have like eight or nine of these. So if you want to buy one of these, please let me know and I can probably get you one. So you connect this basically the same way as the Microsoft two button mouse. And there you go. The next mouse I'm going to show you is a mouse systems mouse. 
So if you look at these two mice, the Microsoft Serial and the Mouse System Serial, these were two competing mice in the mid 80s. Microsoft mice have a different protocol and require a different driver than a mouse system's mouse. Microsoft mice had only two buttons, while mouse system's mice had three. The driver that I'm going to be showing later on, CT mouse, cute mouse, supports both of these types of mice and will auto detect which one you have and use it. So you don't have to worry about any compatibility when using the cute mouse driver. So those are our serial options. If you want to use a more modern mouse, which I highly recommend, is to go for a PS2 mouse. Now, a PS2 mouse is not a serial mouse with a different connector on it. It is a completely different beast altogether and the protocol that it speaks is completely different than the RS232 mice. So it cannot be connected as is to the palm top serial port. But there exists a device by Serdaco, the RS232 to PS2 mouse converter. I will put a link in the description to the page for this device where you can read more about it and purchase one if you think you could use one. Um, this is a device that is powered. You need a USB power connection. You insert your PS2 mouse into the PS2 connector and then you can simply connect this to your home top serial port again with the null modem adapter and now you have a much more modern laser mouse with two buttons and a mouse wheel and the CT mouse driver actually recognizes the mouse wheel on this PS2 mouse. This is the ultimate mouse setup. It's the most comfortable to use. It's the best quality. You can use mice that are fairly recent. They're cheap and easy to get, unlike these old serial mice, which are getting pretty rare. And a nice example, a nice specimen is getting quite expensive, up to 80 or or $100. Whereas there is an infinity of these PS2 mice available on eBay and other sites. So it's very easy to find one. So I recommend this as the best solution. But if you don't have the device, I would recommend the optical RS232 mouse that I've shown before. So let's continue and have a look at how we configure the CT mouse or cute mouse as it's called driver under MS-DOS. We need to copy it onto the palm top, add it to our autoexec.bat file so it loads when the system starts up and we're going to fine tune it so that the different screen aspect ratio of the HP palm tops uh, works correctly with the mouse. Okay, now let's look at the mouse driver installation. So instead of using the mouse driver that comes standard with MS-DOS, I would recommend that you use Cute Mouse instead, called ctmouse.exe. It's tiny, only 6.1 kilobytes in size, and it will consume much less of your precious DOS memory, 640 kilobytes, uh, than the standard mouse driver that comes with MS-DOS. It's also much more flexible, configurable, and it automatically detects what kind of mouse you have, whether it's a serial Microsoft mouse two-button, or a three-button mouse systems mouse, or a PS2 mouse, which isn't directly supported on the palm top, but is possible via the Serdaco RS232 to PS2 uh, device that I've shown earlier. Um, so basically I have copied CT mouse into my C bin directory on my RAM drive. Uh, I will provide a link to download CT mouse in this video's description. Um, and now I'm going to show how I added it to my autoexec.bat. Uh, 
disc. So I recommend that you put it somewhere near the end of the autoexec.bat. So let's have a look. Um, here we go. If I go down a little bit, you can see this line here. So C bin CT mouse. And then there is an option slash zero two, which I will explain in detail in a minute. This is important for you to get a good feeling and a good motion, proper motion in both XI of the screen on the palm tops aspect ratio. So uh, if we quit this, and for example, we will start Windows. You can see my mouse works. So the, the problem that you have on these palm tops is that the screen aspect ratio of the palm top is 12 to 5 and the software uh, thinks that it's running on a computer CRT or LCD display at an aspect ratio of 4.3. So because our screen is vertically squashed nearly half, um, the motion of the mouse pointer relative to the motion of the mouse is much higher horizontally than it is vertically. So if you move the mouse a little bit left and right, it will respond really fast. Whereas if you move it up and down, it responds nearly half as slow, which can be very annoying in some situations, especially in drawing programs when you're trying to make a circle or something. Um, so that is what those options to CT mouse are for. So slash R means resolution. And then there are two numbers, zero and two. The first number represents the resolution of the X or horizontal axis. And the second number two represents the resolution of the vertical axis. Um, so for me and my mouse, the options are O2 or zero two work best. Uh, I recommend that for your specific mouse, depending on its sensitivity, that you play around with those numbers a little bit. You can raise them to make your mouse more sensitive, lower them to make them less sensitive. But I would always add one or two uh, numbers plus, you know, add it to the second number. So it's all, the second number is always one or two uh, numbers higher so that you compensate for this aspect ratio change and that your mouth, mouse move, moves at the same speed horizontally and vertically. So that was my video on how to connect mice to an HP DOS palm top. I hope you liked it. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon and leave a like and a comment. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.